Hello everyone, today I wanted to bring you a classic from World War II, but also the 80s. How does that work? Well, it's the Walter P1. It's the P38 design, brought to you with an alloy frame, and I believe it's a tenifer coating, or just a matte parkerization. I'm not sure. But, that doesn't matter. What does matter is that you can still get these to this very day. They aren't imported in large batches, but so you gotta hunt and find, but... You can find them on Gunbroker every now and again for the low, low price of about $550 to $650. That's pretty good for a classic you can shoot and beat the hell out of and not have to worry too much about. Though, I would suggest that you maybe don't actually purposely beat the hell out of it because they are still a cool collectible. What do you get? You get eight rounds plus one of nine millimeter in your heel released magazine and a foray into the first modern styled nine millimeter and you get your locking wedge as you can see that silver there and that locks into these two lugs over these two recesses here is where two lugs go you also have a loaded chamber indicator which is going to be that hole right below the sight and above your firing pin right there, which they did get rid of that on the P4 model. And they also changed the safety decocker to just a decocker on the P4. But that wasn't until three models after this. Now, pros and cons of something like this. Pro is you get a neat collectible at not too much money. Cons are if you plan on using it for self-defense, it's incredibly meh. There are definitely a lot of better choices for $500 that you can get, such as the Taurus, Smith & Wesson, etc., etc. But it's very cool, it's very catching, and quite a few people are going to turn their heads when you show up to the range with one of these. Honestly, the only issue I've ever had is underneath this top section right here. This is actually a dust cover. And that's how you get in to take out your firing pin and your and adjust your um, loaded chamber indicator. Which, if I was going to carry this for whatever reason, I would probably remove that because I've had a couple of ammo, such as Blazer Brass, uh, not like to be shot out of this. But the second that that was removed, it shot fine. I did have an incident where the top cover popped off and the entire... <laughs> rear sight when flying and the uh retainer for the firing pin also went flying that was an interesting hunt anyway so it's just a very interesting little handgun really lets you know how far we've come we we went from goofy things such as the borsherd to the luger and all of its elegant steampunky design to something a bit more standard looking. I mean, you extend the slide and the frame out and it's just a Beretta M9. That's really all, all it is, right? You chop the barrel off and it's one of the baby Berettas. It's really neat to think about how far we've come. And you can own one yourself. So, I hope you thought this was interesting and, uh, Hope you had some fun viewing it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.